Hello, 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 everybody, and welcome back to Cells of Singularity. In the last episode, we made our very first little forms of life. I think that means we're actually going to be getting into the cool stuff now. Can we go to the ocean? <laughs> our first life form. And in this episode, I'm excited to push the boundaries of evolution even further and further beyond and see what awesome creatures we can create along the beautiful path of life. There's only one way to find out, though, and that's to watch the video. So, without further ado, let's get right into it. So back to our primordial soup. Okay, let's upgrade this stuff, because now we have- Oh, we're gonna get jellyfish soon! That's awesome! Okay, so upgrade the amino acids as much as we can, cool. Now upgrade Mr. DNA, and now this should help us with getting eukaryotic cells, and we can upgrade our little SpongeBob square pants, and then we can even get some mellyfishes. That's awesome, dude, let's go. <gasps> Wait, jellyfish. Are we about to get a jellyfish? <gasps> Life leaves the ocean floor, and the journey begins! Wait, I want to see a jellyfish go to the ocean. <gasps> this is so awesome. I <laughs> I've got the biggest, most stupid smile on my face right now. Is that grass? What is this? Look at our little jelly floating around. Oh my god, let's get so many jellyfish. Next is flatworms. Okay, okay. Look at our little blue guys floating around. We gotta give them a name. I will name you Felipe. Hola. That sounds like a great name for a little jelly. Okay, so back to the skill tree. We can get the nervous system and muscles. Okay, oh wait, no, that's way too expensive. Okay, I can get sexual reproduction though. I think I can afford that. Yes, I can. Cool. But we're about to get into the cool stuff. This is definitely on its way to humans because muscles, nervous systems, and all that stuff is exactly what we're going to want. Radial symmetry is not humans. Humans have bilateral symmetry and everything like that. I don't really care to even have a human, but I'm, I don't care. We're getting into the exciting stuff here pretty soon. So I guess I gotta keep doing like traditional cookie clicker stuff where I just buy all these. I don't know, I'm not really used to playing a cookie clicker. I've never done this before. A few moments later. Oh, whoa, I didn't even notice this a second ago. We unlocked other stuff down here again. We don't have to just keep going up. Like, proteins is now turning into polypeptides for a ridiculous price. And if we keep spamming this, we can actually get the ozone layer, which means I think we can start transitioning to, um, terrestrial land animals, possibly? Is that the way that works? I don't even know, man. A few more moments later. So, oh yes it did! Awesome! So I'm starting to buy more sponges now, and look! It actually puts a bunch more sponges around so we can fill up our ocean with a bunch of little creatures instead of just having, like, one of everything. That's exactly what I was hoping would happen. Awesome. Later. Okay, so I've been trying to actually just slowly get these first three... Level things? What would you call that? I don't know. Anyways, I've been trying to get these first three categories to all level 50, but then I realized that I can actually afford these things here, such as the ozone layer and radial symmetry. So we're gonna go ahead and get this radial symmetry for the jellyfish, which makes them, I think that's at 100% more efficient, which is pretty awesome. Let's take a look at our ocean game. This is so much more peaceful and nice to look at than the um, primordial pool or whatever it's called, primordial juices. But um, also I've noticed that somehow I've got this stuck on the screen, which is interesting. I guess I was just clicking there for too long a period of time and it just kind of glitched out and now that's never going to go away apparently. But um, yeah. Okay, so I just activated this Darwinium as well, which increases our timer by four hours or something like that. So I don't really know what exactly that's going to do. I think it just kind of boosts us and also keeps the timer going for um, how long passive income is collected. Like whenever we're not even in the game, maybe? Is that what that means by the four hour thing? I don't know. I think that's what that means, but I could be wrong. Oh wow, it looks like we're really getting money now. So we're going to go ahead and grab the ozone layer. So now if we come out here to our planetary view, if that's even what you could call this thing, we now have a beautiful, thriving ozone layer. Oh look, clouds just showed up as well. How awesome. But Scuttles, that's what the ozone layer just changed. The blue glow has been there a while now, moron. In the last episode, I actually recorded more than I actually uploaded in the first episode just because I felt like it was a good stopping point and that the next stopping point wasn't going to be for a good bit longer. But, now that I've been editing, I realized that it wasn't actually enough for two episodes, we're back in again. And... Yeah. It's been some time. We have more money than I know how to spend. Okay, so apparently this game... I don't want to say it's a little bit easier than I was expecting, but it's a little bit easier than I was expecting, because we have just made 59 million thingamabobbers. I guess we're just gonna go start buying stuff, but I feel like the best way to do it would be from here, so we can see 
how we're progressing instead of just buying whatever's available. There, so there we go. Polypeptides and amino acids bond together. They create a chain that becomes an integral building block in creating proteins. So there we go. Just another little upgrade. Now we can get some chromosomes for 3.5 million. Chromosomes are DNA molecules containing genetic material. They preserve genomic sequences and allow for traits to be passed from parent to offspring. So let's get tissues, nervous system. Let's go ahead and get flatworms and swimming. Oh, something's happening. Flatworm! <laughs> I don't know why I wasn't expecting that one to actually spawn in. Is he going to swim or is he going to float around like he's dead like that? I hope he swims some. Flatworm. The flatworm is the first organism with bilateral symmetry. That's that word we talked about last episode. Which enables the beginnings of the brain and internal organs. These simple creatures set the stage for vertebrates to come. Very cool. What does this give us? 80,000 big monies. So let's move on to the cenotocytes. Boom. And then we got some swimming. What does this do? Actually, what did that say? Well, the first organic weapons, these are explosive cells that fire out a toxic harpoon for self-defense and hunting. Yes, these are basically the things that like jellyfish have in their tentacles to make them all, you know, stingy stingy. And then we can get swimming apparently. The swimming, no, the simple act of swimming gave any organism the ability to move from location to location for the first time. Alright, we'll buy that. That sounds pretty sweet. We get that bilateral symmetry. We get the vertebrae because that's going to be very important to getting fish and other cool animals. Apparently we'll buy the cocoon. Fertilized eggs are entrapped. No, nope. fertilized eggs are encased in a cocoon. With a, ooh, orange. <laughs> anyway, so the cocoon is released into the ocean's waters. The cocoon provides nourishment to the egg, which will help it hatch later. Awesome. Let's get fishies. Show me a fish. Yeah, look at my fish. Oh, he's beautiful. <laughs> look at him swim about so gracefully. Give me the orange. Thank you. Ooh, that was a big orange. Lots of vitamin D in that one, baby. What does this big rock do? I can build it for two. Oh, mysterious rock. And it went to 199. I have to click it 200 times. A large sedimentary rock. Chip away at the secrets of an era long past. <gasps> Is this the dinosaurs? Click, 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 click. Give me the dinosaurs. I want the dinosaurs so bad. I need it. I want it. I have to have it. I want it. Nope, I need it. <gasps> it's the dinosaurs. Look at that. It's totally the dinosaurs. Final click. Oh yeah, baby. That's why I downloaded this game. <laughs> evolution branch unlocked. You have encountered a branching path of evolution. Gotta go all day with Ambro on it. Loading. <sighs> Hello. Hi. Again. Hi. I am Semblance, the artificial Hi, intelligence running this simulation. You've discovered a strange fossil. Now, I need you to simulate a live specimen for study. Okay, yes please. <laughs> These creatures were once the dominant form of life on Earth. Okay. Perhaps learning about how they met their demise will teach us how humans may meet their end. Yeah, fair play to you. Are you prepared? Yes, I am so prepared for Excellent. dinosaurs. Yes, let me hit the button as fast as I can. <laughs> Let's go, baby. We're time warping. We're going to see the dinosaurs. Or at least we're going to go make the dinosaurs. I don't know what's going to happen. The Mesozoic Valley. Let's go. You've discovered the Mesozoic Oh my god, this is what I wanted. You can return to the main tree at any time. <gasps> Ooh, look at the little archosaur. Hello. We buy you. Charge. Oh, well, I guess we'll never know what that says. <gasps> oh, he's so cute. Take a screenshot. Oh, that didn't take a screenshot. There you go. Give me that lit up side of you, though. Yeah, look at that. Oh, he's beautiful. Little archosaur. I know that there's a proper way to take. Oh, there it is. <gasps> we have the ability to take proper photos now. <gasps> oh, look at this. Oh, look at this. What does this do? Oh, I can go down to their level. Oh, how do I spin the camera though? Oh, oh, look at this cutie. Hi, baby. Oh, pose for me. Get out of the shadows though. And wait for him to come out from behind it. Yeah, that's nice and photogenic. A little bit of that action right there. Hmm? Oh, he, oh, he's beautiful. Let's see. We'll name you Archie the Archosaur because I think you're adorable. Okay, let's get out. Um, interestingly enough, as much as I love dinosaurs, I don't know too terribly much about their, like, actual past like this. Keep charging. Wait, how in the world do we get you to... Oh, that's what we do. That's how we level you up. What in the world does the charging do? The more dinosaurs you own, 
the more a fossil cycle will pay out. Interesting. Oh wait, so am I just getting tons of dinosaurs right now? Where's all your friends? Let me get out of the camera. How do I get out of the camera mode? Do I hit that button? Is that what does it? <gasps> yes. It still looks like it's just the one of you. Maybe you have to get like to level 10 or something. Keep by him! Just open Geo. Use Mutagen to upgrade evolutionary traits. This is getting really complicated. Huh. Tap to open. Okay. 800 fossils! Generate new dinosaurs. Perfect. Wait, can I just apply this now? For 60? Oh, I can! <gasps> oh! Oh! <laughs> oh! This is what I wanted. My life is complete. Hello, little Parasaurolophus. You might not actually be a proper Parasaurolophus, but you, you obviously look exactly like it. You might just be like the early version of it, I have no idea. But I love you just the same. Oh look, we got two of them for the little cockaloo down there! My voice is getting so high-pitched, I'm so overly happy. <laughs> so the meta is to load that, and then load a bunch of these in the process. Okay, yeah, load that, load a bunch of these, load that, load a bunch of these. Man, this one's complicated. Load that, load a bunch of these. It's not just as simple as clicking anymore. Speaking of click though, let's click on this thing. What is this? Unknown. Complete missions to discover. How in the world do I complete missions? Is that what these are? Collect more or and collect money money. Alrighty, I'll try that. I wonder what this bar is up here. Obviously it splits in three sections. But what does that mean? But anyways, that brings me up to a disgusting point today. I'm curious as to if you guys would be interested in watching a Jurassic World Evolution series, sort of like as one last hoorah of the game before we move on to the new one coming out sometime in November. Would you guys be interested in that? I also have more news, and that's that Dragonfire, I know everybody keeps asking for it. It's not over, and it's not going to be over, but I just need y'all to know that I'm not able to produce it as fast as y'all would like to. Because those episodes are solely dependent on Jurassic Aliens being about. So that I can't... Oh, we've gotten this. Cool. Oh, wait, no, we don't. We're just almost there. Um, it is solely dependent on Jurassic Alien being around. Because if he's not there, then the server's not up. So I have to have him around in order to make any sort of progress with that. So I just thought I'd make you guys aware of the situation. Be totally transparent with you. As we buy a Stegosaurus. Oh, it's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like he's screaming! He's like, ah! Gorgeous. Alright, lots of Darwinium. I don't really use that stuff too much. Asteroid! <gasps> Wait, no, I don't want to wipe him out. Is that Does that mean I get to start over and involve him even harder? Oh, I don't want to do the asteroid to my poor dinosaurs. Okay. I trust you, game. Dinosaur evolution tree will be reset, but you keep all of your evolutionary traits and mutagens. Oh, I'm gonna feel so bad! What about Archie the Archosaur? Okay, fly them out. No! No! Oh no! Oh! A meteorite struck the Earth and caused an extinction. The 79 creatures are no more. Their loss is unfortunate, but their sacrifice is necessary for our research. Get back to work on a new simulation so we can kill even more dinosaurs. Oh my god, she really went Thanos on them. Uh, but with that being said, folks, looks like we're gonna have to get wrapping it up here. I hope you guys enjoyed it so much. I've had an absolute blast. We have our first dinosaurs. This video is having to be cut short a little bit sooner than I would like for it to. I ideally would have this go on a bit longer, but I am in a bit of a time crunch, so hopefully that's all understandable. I hope you guys still can enjoy this anyways, and it's not too terribly short of a video. I guess there's only one way to find out, and that's to... Edit it all together and see what happens, but if this is shorter than normal, then I do apologize, but hopefully you'll forgive me for this one. And yeah, until next time, I'll see you later. Bye-bye. Hit that like button if you want to see more dinosaurs.